All right, guys. So the first injury report for the first Green Bay Packers playoff game still seems crazy to say that. The Green Bay Packers are in the playoffs playing against the Dallas Cowboys this Sunday. The first injury report just came out. Now, it was a very light walkthrough in today's practice, so nothing too intense, but there was a lot of good news today out of practice. But tomorrow will be the more important practice as well as Friday. That'll kind of give us a better signal of who and who won't be available for this game on Sunday. Super excited for this matchup. Green Bay Packers versus the Cowboys. You know, Mike McCarthy, Green Bay, Matt LaFleur against Dan Quinn, who he worked under, Jordan Love versus the Cowboys. You know, recent years, the Packers are 9-1 and versus the Dallas Cowboys. Now, obviously, that was with Aaron Rodgers, so we'll see if this transfers over to Jordan Love. The ownership of the Bears transferred from Aaron Rodgers to Jordan Love, so maybe the ownership of the Dallas Cowboys will as well. This is going to be a very tough matchup. The Cowboys 8-0 at home. The Packers on a hot streak. I think they match up very well, uh, but don't count the Packers out just yet. All right, so without further ado, let's get into this injury report. As I said, it was a walkthrough, so these are all estimations, but, you know, the Packers still did a walkthrough, and all these players that are listed as limited at least participated in that. So bringing up the injury report, Jair Alexander at the top, we see shoulder slash ankle injury limited, so it looks like an ankle was added to the injury report for him. Um, I guess he suffered that in the Bears game, so something to monitor as the week goes on. I thought Jair was finally healthy, but I guess now he has a slight ankle injury, but at least it was listed as limited today. Devondre Campbell with his neck injury, again, a full participant. He was full all last week, was again today, so no worry about him going into this Cowboys game. A.J. Dillon here was actually the only did not participate in today's walkthrough, which is massive news. Now, the Packers injury report is longer than ever, but there's only one player that was a did not participate in this walkthrough, and that was A.J. Dillon still with his neck injury, that neck stinger. So we'll have to see, you know, his status tomorrow and Friday, and then, of course, going into the game. But Aaron Jones is still holding it down there at running back. Now, Romeo Dobbs with his chest injury. Good news here. He is limited. So he left that game early on after the dropped touchdown. He was seen coughing up blood on the sidelines, went to the hospital. Everything was checked out. Everything was okay. Then he came back to celebrate with the Packers after that win against the Bears. Um, it seems like everything is still okay. So he's limited today in the walkthrough. That's really good to see. Likely will again be available for this game. Elton Jenkins with his knee slash ankle injury is limited. It's mainly that ankle that's been bothering him, but he played last week. Likely will again play this week. Aaron Jones, knee slash finger, limited today. You know, he's been on a tear. Three straight 100-yard games to close out the season, and we know how good Aaron Jones can be against the Dallas Cowboys. So we need another massive Aaron Jones day against this Cowboys team in order for the Packers to have a chance at winning. Isaiah McDuffie returned to practice today with his concussion, so he has at least progressed in the concussion protocol. I'm not sure if he's cleared it yet, but he has progressed to limited today. Luke Musgrave, another full practice today. This is awesome to see. He saw 11 snaps against the Bears. I see him getting, you know, more than double that against the Cowboys and then using more Tucker Craft and Luke Musgrave on the field at the same time. Josh Myers with his neck injury uh, didn't hold him out against the Bears, and he's a full participant today, so he'll be available versus the Cowboys. John Owen, same thing. He's kind of been on the injury report with this knee injury for a while. He was limited today, but he's been playing through this injury, um, so he'll be available again against the Cowboys. Then we see Jaden Reed, who had an awesome game, you know, over 100 yards, his first 100-yard game of its career, the second Packers wide receiver to get over 100 yards this season was last week, and it was Jaden Reed. What an awesome game for Jaden Reed, only on four receptions too, which is crazy. He had multiple big, big catches, so, you know, he's been a big part of this offense, and he's going to be a big part of this offense going into this game yet again. Now, Sean Ryan was added to the injury report with an elbow injury, but he's a full participant. So really nothing to worry about there. Uh, he's still been splitting uh, reps with John Runyon, although John Runyon did have, you know, probably his best game this year last week against the Bears. Darnell Savage, shoulder injury, full participant. TJ Slayton, uh, knee slash foot injury, limited. Preston Smith, ankle injury, limited. Both Preston and uh, Elton Jenkins were questionable last game in both plays. So really good to see both limited um, on the first practice of this week. Zach Tom was added with a finger injury, but luckily it's a full participant, so something probably very small. So I wouldn't worry about him going forward. Quay Walker, shoulder injury, full participant. Christian Watson, hamstring injury, limited. We all thought he'd return in week 18 
seen. Didn't practice Friday. We were told it was a rest day. Then Sunday comes around and he's ruled out or inactive. So I guess we're just going to monitor this again throughout the week. But, you know, Christian Watson's breakout game last year was against the Cowboys with three touchdowns. So I'm really hoping he can play in this game. You know, it's win or go home, obviously. It's the playoffs. I know last week was also win or go home and he didn't play. But it's the playoffs now officially. So I'm really hoping Christian Watson can return in this game. Then finally, Emmanuel Wilson, shoulder injury, full participant. Then to quickly go over the Dallas Cowboys injury report at the top, we have Dorrance Armstrong, defensive end, full participant. Uh, wide receiver Brandon Cooks had a veteran and rest day, so limited. Um, Stephon Gilmore, their cornerback, shoulder injury, did not participate, one in monitor uh, going through the week. Same with starting defensive tackle Jonathan Hankins uh, with an ankle injury. He didn't participate today. Safety Malik Hooker, ankle injury, full participant. Demarcus Lawrence had a rest day, so nothing there. Jordan Lewis, Zach Martin, also a rest day. Uh, guard Tyler Smith, who has, who's had an excellent season and was just you know announced as an all-pro today. Foot injury, limited. And then left tackle Tyron Smith, also a veteran rest day. So that is the initial injury report. Packers versus Cowboys. As I said, it was kind of a walkthrough, uh, but nonetheless, only one player not practicing today for the Green Bay Packers, and that is A.J. Dillon. So although it's a very long list, that is very good news. But that about does it for this video. I appreciate you guys coming by. Again, be on the lookout for the injury reports tomorrow and Friday. That'll give us a bigger telltale of all these players and their availability for Sunday. But I'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks for watching, and as always, Go Pack Go!